All right, we're gonna call this guy from now on Sammy the Bull. Look at him. What's up, Sammy? Come on. Here comes little boy coming. Look at him trotting over here. Look at all the Canadians out here. There's hundreds of them. All down there, all out in there. You don't have flies on you today, Sammy. What's going on, buddy? Here comes this big beast of a horse. Look at him. Look how beautiful he is. That like golden mane on him. I love coming down here and checking these guys out. Hi, buddy. Look at you. Hi, bud. What are you doing, buddy? Um, I don't know if you watch. Oh, I hear you, buddy. Man, look at him. What a beautiful animal. I don't know if you heard that lady talking in the last video. That chicken that was in previous uploads, the crazy rooster, got ate by a fox. Um, the poor old boy. At least I got him on video, but he is no longer available for filming. <laughs> look at this guy. Look at you, buddy. I'd say he's about five foot four at the back off the ground. Hi, buddy. You gonna come over and let me pet you? He's an old horse, I think. That woman said that I was talking to, he said that mainly these horses come here to retire. They're all older. I'm not sure which one they had to put down. Look at that horse over there rolling. Rolling in the mud, look at him. He's just going to town over there in that mud. Hi, buddy. I'll see if more of them will come over here after I uh, get up out of here airhead hunting. Just a little miniature horse or pony whatever you want to call it he don't want to come come close ever a few of these ones way over there i know the one's real friendly i like that miniature brown one this one's pretty too but i'll get back at you a nice view of that big horse anyway and sammy the bull up there he's he's going around he's always on the outside of the fence for some reason well anyway <laughs> folks later um, and another thing, if you want to help my channel out, share my videos, like on Facebook and stuff, that'll be good enough. Um, if you have a bunch of subscribers and you like what you see, and you know, some of my videos are better than others, um, it just depends on what I find. Sometimes I find real awesome stuff, and other times I find average stuff, but sometimes it's real, real good. If you like these videos, share them for me. That'll do more to help me out than anything you can do. All right. <clears throat> Um, also, remember to check out the channels I put in my mail day opening video. Um, the one guy's username's Chip Corner Notch. The other one's Finding Goodies. And I'll tell you what, I've learned a lot from that Findies, Finding Goodies um, channel. It's kind of like Antiques Roadshow. They go into um, antique shops and stuff. But they give like information on the video about the items and they dig bottles and stuff and i've learned a lot about medicine bottles and stuff while i've been um watching their videos on some of the stuff that i dig dumps later i just got this it's screw top but it's cool it's an interesting piece considering they're all plastic now but it says wonder bubbles and i'd say this is a kid's little thing for bu bubbles with the little rod that goes down in and it's glass so i'm taking that i'll say found some found another pot and 
I'd say that's an inkwell. I'm not positive, but I'd say it is. It's real heavy glass. We've got this piece of sterling china. It says East Liverpool High USA. Right? It's just a basic pattern, but it's, it's complete. I'm going to take it. Can't leave stuff like that. Um, but this is, I'm working up in there. You can see what I'm doing. I'll get back if I find anything cool later. Look at this cool bottle. It says White House brand and it's got the White House on it. That's pretty cool. It's got a big embossed White House on it. Huh. Very cool. Later. You know, this is a daggone shame. Look at the break on that. It's old, but it's a kid's pig candy container. I would have loved to have that. Oh, man. I might take it just to put with my other candy containers. See if I can't find another one. Oh, it's too bad. That's heartbreaking. Later. Right, I've been here an hour. I ain't doing as good as I was yesterday, but I'm finding stuff. I got two different um, pavers there, a sun crest, and just piles of these things, all different kinds. I take them all. Um, a few bottles and stuff, but nothing spectacular. I'll get back if I see anything awesome. But there's an old grade out of a house, like for a vent. It's an old metal one. Um, but I was looking up here above where I dug, and I see two nice marbles laying out. See if you can see them. I'm gonna have to surface hunt. We've got lots of rain and stuff and I haven't surface hunted this for a while. It's easy to miss some marbles. I don't see any more stuff laying out. But this is how I found that 1919 dog tag just looking. And that's worth some money. It's worth well over $100. But look here. Here's a turquoise cat eye. It's real pretty. And then right here's a two color cat eye. Let me put this turquoise, well, let me just set this turquoise one down. Yeah, this has got orange, and then at the tips of the eyes, there's, there's gray. You can see it there. Two pretty nice marbles. And uh, I, we'll get down here and look. I found another one. I didn't film it because it's just average. I'm trying to get away with just filming junk. I'm just trying to show you the good stuff. I've been here a long time. I got a bag of stuff. See, here's, oh, and I got... Another one of these. I think this might be Speed Racer, but I'm not sure. And it looks like it's off a board game or something. But I found a red one here, and I think I found two red ones actually. And here's the other marble down in there. It's just bluish white. So I'm finding marbles. I'll get something good before long. All right, I'm back. I'm trying not to film everything right when I find it. I'll just do several things at a time today because. Look at the embossed embossing on the side of this. It says Parson Sud Sudsu Ammonia. That's kind of cool. It's got the original cap on it. I can clean that up. Got uh, another big ball, uh, Atlas Mason. And I got this cool 7 Up. It says Jackson, Ohio on it. I don't have that one, so that's a good find. Um, I'll get back if I see anything awesome. Later. See down there at my feet, I got another lettered street paver right there it's the third one for the day can't believe i'm finding them i didn't do any good but look at this big blue bottle it's got a triangular cross section that says norwich up here i'm gonna take that get a cap to fit it that's pretty cool i like the triangular cross section later man i'm gonna have a heck of a walk off the hill tonight or today i'm finding these pavers this one's different i don't know what this says i think it says beaver on it B E A V E R. Nice beaver. <laughs> Later. Well, this is a. I'm just have this. I don't know why I haven't been doing this. 
I have a harness for my body in my bag and I put my GoPro on it. But look at this beautifully two fifth of a pint embossed wine bottle and it's got grapes all over it. That is nice. It'll look nice in my cabinet. And I got like four different street pavers. I'll punch this through and drain this, but that's a good find. See what it says on the bottom. Um Berry Cup Wines, Yonkers, New York. Uh, probably has a date on it. I think it. I can't tell. I'll have to get it probably cleaned up. I think it says 1953. But that's cool. Later. Alright, I'm back. I've been walking for hours today. I'll show you something. I got a point here in the water. It's nothing spectacular. It looks like a little Fort Ancient or Mississippian triangle. Um, probably about a thousand year old, thousand year old where I look. Um, but I've been picking this stuff up for to save for nappers. I'm going to try to get a flat rate box full. But this is all Black River cobble chert. Finding bunches of it on this site. You've seen me show it before. It's all from the same place. You can see this piece has been kind of manipulated by an Indian here on this edge it's probably broke open this is probably a fractured off piece that an Indian was busting one open but you could make several nice points out of this I mean a big fish just jumped out there but um I found a flake uh, let me see a few a few flakes here in my pocket I think and I think I see another other flake over there to my left let me see Yep, there's a flake of Kishokton right there. This has been the best area for me. Let me see. I don't see any more. I'm looking at these gravels. You can see it's really washed good up on the shore. It looks excellent. I'm finding a few little tiny flakes, but I've been picking up a bunch of it here, so I'm getting it um, picked down. I was finding handfuls of Kishokton when I first got here. Um, let me see if I can find that point again. It's a little. It's right here. See it right here? Get down on it there so you can see it. Let's pick it up. Prius is whole. No, oh, it's whole. Um, you know, not the greatest thing, but that's pretty nice. It's made good. It's little. Right there on this edge, you can see the cortex of the river cobble chert. Right here on this corner. Not a bad piece, about a thousand years old. Probably it tops a $20 piece. Um, probably more like 10 to 15. I have hundreds of these and they all look the same. Not exactly what I'm looking for, but I will take it. It's rough going this time of year. Anyway, I'll get back if I see anything else. Later. All right, here's what we're up to on this site so far. I got one more cool looking rock. This one's kind of weird, isn't it? Looks like a half moon. Uh, it's not an artifact or nothing, I don't believe. It feels kind of packed in there, but I think it's just natural for sure. I got this cool banded rock. That's kind of cool, isn't it? It's got lines all over it. I'd say that's chert on the inside. Maybe I'm wrong, but I got all this flint here. There's a piece of real nice like flint rid stuff and some flakes of Kashok then. Not as much flint as usual, but then I got a little triangular. Not a bad trip, it was worth it. And I got a barge coming, so let me... Yeah, that's not a bad find. Nice little cork top inkwell. I'll take that all day long. I'm way back, you can see, I can hardly see what's falling down out of here. I'm, there's tree roots in here and they're too big to cut out with a hand axe or a saw, so... I'm just trying to pick around it later. I think this is a glass bottle for a baby doll. It's got the lines on it. It's little. I think that's what that is. I've found them before. It's perfect. Later. Here's an old gum turpentine paint thinner, and it's from the 50s. I think it's 55. The label's just absolutely perfect. I'm gonna take that just because it's 
you know, 70 years old pretty much. 60, they the, and they crocs yet. Nothing spectacular, but I'm finding all kinds of stuff. I have like, let's see. I probably have 70, 60 or 70 of these, all different kinds. There's a Columbus, Ohio, uh, seven up from the fifties later. Man, I'm on all these old architectural pieces today. Here's another, I don't have this one either. So this is five different ones in two hours up here. Well, I'm probably cutting in on three hours now. This one says JSP. We're taking them all. So I'm gonna have a hard time getting this out of here. It's gonna be heavy, but I'm gonna go for one more cool piece. And at least I'm getting them. I like them. Here's another. Here's another pocket watch. It's roached. Um, I would guess that's not silver, but I've found so many of them up here that I haven't filmed like this. That it's just ridiculous. I got that gold one. And I got several silver ones, but this one is not precious metal. But it's still kind of cool. Later. All right, I did a heck of a lot of digging today, but I didn't find too much. I'd say my favorite finds are the street pavers. Um, I got lots of stuff. Here's kind of a blue glass bottle with a cap on it, and it says the Christian Brothers of California. I don't know what that is, but it's a tinted bottle. Here's a little Pyrex bottle with like a cork top on it. It's got measurement lines on it. I don't know if that's baby related or what. Um, lots of these mason jars. Heck, this one still has the lid on it. Um, probably 10 of these. Probably 60 or 70 of these weight caps and 10 lids that are, you know, I can clean this up, put this lid on this. This one looks roached. But just lots of cool things. I'll probably take that because it's just so good. But I'm happy with the street pavers. You can't find a croc every day. You just got to put in the time. Look at all this raking I did. Just multiple holes. Couldn't get nothing great. Would have. That candy container would have been good. But just everything's broke today. Later. You can see all these street pavers here. I just got thousands of them everywhere. They look nice. And they sure ain't making these no more. I got all different kinds and I got several. Here's more street paper action here. There's lots of different ones here. Wheeling, Townsend Block, Sisler Paver, Standard Blair Block. There's one of these JSR ones that's broke. I got another one today. Harris over there. Um, you can see they make nice patios. Here's this bottle I found. I was gonna clean it up. I like this. I put that old cap on it. Here we go. I got these wiped off. These ones are Mount Savage Stokers. Right here, three of these. A JSR one and a beaver. I like this beaver one. It's perfect. Got five of them. Imagine carrying them off the hill in a bag. Along with bottles. Me and my shoulder sore. Later. All right, I'm back. Um, it rained all night pretty steady and pretty hard at times the water's up but right in here is where i found some points on video and i got something sticking out here um it's broke i can see right here it's broke but let's see huh there ain't much damage to it that ain't bad some kind of stem point it's Crooksville Church, for sure. You can see the orange spots all over it there. Um, I don't really know what to call that. It might be in the Dean or something. It looks broke, but it's not a bad piece. It's kind of wide. Hmm, it's probably woodland. But it's hard to say with the base missing. It almost looks like these are notches right there, but it's definitely got basal damage. Um, it's got some polish up there from probably that edge was being used as a knife. It was probably a knife. 
see how it's off center there. Well, anyway, I'll put up pictures later.